In this video, we will explain all aspects of the referral order tracking process. Before going further, let's find out what a referral order is. When a customer makes a purchase in your shop, through an affiliate link or with a coupon code, that order will be recorded in the Orders tab in your Shopify account. Our app receives the data sent from Shopify and saves it as a referral order. Along with affiliate links and coupon codes, we can also track referral orders via the Connect product, Connect customers, and lifetime commission settings. Once you mark this order as paid on your Shopify admin account, the referral information will be shown in our app on the Referral tab. Additionally, the app allows you to record pending orders as referral orders. You can turn this setting on via the General tab in Settings. The referral information includes order ID, order number, referral ID, the affiliate who gets the credit, and the commission breakdown. After being recorded, the status of a referral order will be set as pending. You can then decide if the referral is valid or not. You can see the referral details by clicking on the Details icon. Not only can you see the details, you can also adjust the commission value on this screen. In case you find this order suspicious and want to reject the commission, click the Deny button. If you want to validate the commission, click Approve. In some specific cases, you may need to add a referral manually. In order to do that, you have to obtain the order ID first. Go to the Orders tab on your Shopify admin account and click on the order. You will see the order ID at the end of the URL. Copy that number and go to the Referral tab on the app back end. After that, click Add Referral, paste the order ID, and fill in the other required fields. Then, our system will automatically calculate the commission for you. If you want to add a fixed commission, you can select the Fixed Amount option. Besides tracking and showing normal referral orders, our app also helps to refund orders. In case of a refund, our system will create another referral record with a negative amount to subtract the refunded commission. You can approve this additional record to balance the commission amount after the refund. That's all the information we'd like to go over today regarding referral orders. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to our team or find the answer on our document list.